Fact of the day. Fact of the day. Hello, hi, and welcome to Fact of the Day with me, Mark Lotsu. Fat protection against infections. Whilst we all know that too much fat is bad for you, not all fat is bad. This you probably already knew. But do you know why not all fat is bad? There is evidence from studying mice and monkeys that some types of fat actually house immune cells and make them more effective against fighting infections. The immune cell is a memory T cell and has been found to be stored in the body fat cells of mice by Yasmin Belkid and her team at the US Institute of Health. So what does a memory T cell do? It learns to fight infection. So the first time you're exposed to a pathogen, a bacteria, a virus, or a parasite, it sticks around in your body, the memory T cell does, and it remembers if that pathogen ever comes back and attacks your body again. And if it does, then your body can mount a much faster, much more aggressive response to the pathogen hopefully not making you as ill as you were before. So when infected with the bacterial parasite, there was an increase in the concentration of memory T cells in the body fat cells of mice. And then on future exposures to the same infections, there was a much faster response from those memory T cells that were found in the body fat cells of mice. This was also found to be the case in monkeys and the memory T cells worked faster and more effectively than immune system cells from other organs in the body. The other amazing thing is, when fat cells from a mouse that had been previously exposed to a pathogen were implanted into another mouse which had not been exposed to the pathogen, when that second mouse then got exposed to a pathogen, its response was much quicker and it had as much protection as if it had previously been exposed to the same pathogen. So it's twofold amazing. One, the fat cells are providing a storage place for the memory T cells to be kept around in the body long term. And two, the memory T cells found in these fat cells are super cells compared to immune system cells from the rest of the body. It's thought that the memory T cells could be feeding off the energy rich fat tissue found in these fat cells, giving them their superpowers. Take home messages, we all need some fat, not too much fat, but some fat. So this has revolutionized the way we look at fat. But before you go stuff in your face, eating as much as you possibly can, thinking you're gonna be super immune to every single disease that has ever occurred on the entire planet. When people become obese, the relationship between fat and memory T cells changes and can lead to inflammation, which is very, very bad. That is fat protection against infections. Thanks for watching. Love you, bye, love you, bye, love you, bye.